Hello, good morning all. Today uh, we are going to discuss uh, FDD and TDD frame structures. So, uh, what is the frame structures? How it is FDD and TDD is working? So, we discuss uh, related to the frame, slot, subframe, and uh, resource block. So, let's begin. LD frame structures. LD frame structures are uh, frame structure. Frame structure one frame. One frame is divided into ten of frame. Okay, and one frame one frame is equal to uh, one frame is equal to ten, uh, ten milliseconds. So that is uh, ten millisecond equal to one frame uh, durations. Uh, so that is one frame is divided into ten uh, sub frame. Sub frame zero. Sub frame one. Sub frame two. Uh, two sub frame nine and one subframe is equal to 1 milliseconds okay and once uh, one uh, one subframe is divided into two slot and uh, that is slot 0 and slot 1 and that is of 0 0.5 milliseconds here uh, uh, here each frame uh, has 10 subframe so and each frame duration is 10 milliseconds 10 milliseconds and each frame each subframe duration is 1 milliseconds and each, each time slot duration is 0 0.5 milliseconds in each slot has 7 to 7 or 6 symbols that is your opm symbols and uh, slot uh, one slot uh, contain uh, this slot 0 contain 7 opm symbol or 6 or slot 1 contain uh, that is your 0 uh, 7 and 6 that it depends upon your cycling prefixing, prefixing that is normal cycle uh, prefixing that is 7 that is if they are extended cycle prefixing you are using that is 6 in each slot has 12 carrier that is the 12 carrier x slot one slot having the 12 carriers and uh, each slot equal to uh, 184 <coughs> 84 resource element 84 resource element how it is uh, how it is come and uh, that is 12 sub 12 sub carrier 12 sub carrier into 7 that is 7 slot 7 slot 7 symbol 12 into 7 is equal to 84 if you are using 6 that is extended cp then 12 into 6 equal to 72 resource element in a single resource block okay this is the this is the lt frame structures how lt frame is working this is uh, this is resource element and 84 resource element and 70 84 resource element and 72 resource element uh, is called one rv one resource block what is resource block here resource block contain uh, that is seven uh, seven opdm symbol in time domain and 12 carrier in frequency domain that equal to one resource block okay here resource block equal to uh, 12 carrier into 12 carrier into frequency domain that 12 sub carrier into 7 slot equal to 84 resource element and that is called one resource block okay so uh, what you learn from this side lt frame structures and one frame one frame is by divided into 10 sub uh, 10 sub frame and 10 sub frame is one sub frame is divided into two slot with 0 0.5 millisecond and 0 0.5 milliseconds and uh, 1 RB equal to 84 RE if you are using normal cycling prefix 12 into 7. If you are using extended cycling prefixing, 1 RB contain 72 resource element. Okay. Next uh, next slide FDD TDD bandwidth. FDD TDD bandwidth means uh, FDD band. FDD band uh, 1800 band, 900 band, and uh, that is called FDD band, TDD band, band 40, 41. If there were frequency available, and the 2500 and uh, 2300, uh, that, that is the in band 40 and 41 is using for the uh, FDD, uh, sorry, TDD, and uh, that is rest of band, band 3, uh, band 3 is using band 3, uh, is using for here uh, highlighted band 3, that is using for the FDD part. FDD and TDD uh, downlink or uplink frame, that is same. That's, uh, one frequency for the downlink and other frequency for uplink but here same frequency using for both uplink and downlink okay what i learn from this side that is fdd tdd bandwidth bandwidth fdd and fdd uh, uh, is the 900 1800 and uh, 2100 working on fdd that is band 3 and band 40 and 41 is using for the 20 megahertz band that is tdd and one frequency for downlink 
other frequency for uplink for FDD cases and TDT cases same frequency are using for both link both uplink and downlink. Next the frame structures. Frame structures means I have explained in the next uh, <coughs> first slide that is equal to one frame equal to 10 soft frame and one soft frame is equal to two slots. Okay. And uh, here uh, here is something that is uh, <coughs> that is uh, FDD and TDD. TDD what uh, that is FDD there is then two different frequency we are using for uplink and downlink and here one frequency we are using for uh, uplink and downlink that is uh, that is configured this is the TDD configurations and uh, that is UP, uh, UPPTS and uh, DWPTS okay that uh, uplink pilot uh, and downlink pilot okay here is the example uplink downlink configurations in TDD cases TDD cases what happen you are using for uh, DL UL ratio is 4 is to 1 so 4 is to 1 means that means uh, 4 downlink symbols and four downlink, uh, downlink and one uplink. That is your four, uh, four, four is to one issue. If one increasing uplink speed, so you can uh, use one of the uh, one of the here. There is in here. Here is the two uplink and three downlink. That means three is to two subframe uh, uplink configuration. Three is to one. You can use this slot. So depending upon your uh, uh, downlink uplink uh, uh, user uh, users, you can uh, here define the. Uh, configure the configure the configure this and that is your uh, yeah the DL and DL ratio is 4 is to 1 yeah 3 is to 1 and accordingly you can configure this okay that is the frame structure of uh, FDD and TDD and uh, this is the this is the special soft frames configurations total number of soft frame is equal to uh, 9012345678 okay and DWPTS and UPPTS yeah guard periods so uh, that uh, that uh, <coughs> length of the OBDM symbols in normal CP. If you are using normal CP, if you are configuring uh, that is the this this uh, seven special subframe configuration seven that DWPTS is two one uh, two one nine five two TS and uh, UPPT, uh, UPPTS is equal to five one two zero TS and down uh, DWPTS is ten and GP guard period two and UPPTS two. So if you are using this configuration, if you are using four four number of configurations, so this is the uh, this is the configuration you are uh, using for the and the guard period uh, is depends upon how much bit uh, you want to add one bit two bits one bits of guard periods so you can add it accordingly to uh, uh, this is the related to the frame structures of FDD and TDD and uh, this is uh, this is related to signal location FDD and TDD frame the which frame uh, which signal is uh, uh, which signal is situated that is the locations of the signals that is PSS and SSS this is the primary synchronization signal and this is the secondary signal signal and this is called uh, this is forming the PCI PCI means PCI is equal to uh, <coughs> PSS plus 3 into SSS primary synchronization signal and secondary synchronization signal. primary synchronization signal and the second optimum signal at the center of 6 PRB third symbol at the time of slot 2 so PSS uh, time slot 2 subframe number 1 okay and SSS is slot number 1 and the slot number is subframe number 0 okay and this is the reference signals also and uh, all the signals PDCCS physical downlink control channel signal broadcast uh, mm, and uh, downlink synchronization channel, period channels, and six period over uh, over frame and six PRB over soft frames. So this is the related or the signal signal situation or uh, which slot, which frame, which frame numbers that is all described here for the TDD and FDD. You can read out if you have any query, you can get back to me. Okay, what do you learn from these sides? One, what can you remember for here? When remember when the TDD frame, uh, sorry, LT frame, LT frame is one frame, one frame equal to 10 millisecond, and frame is divided into 10 subframes, 10 subframe, one subframe equal to 1 milliseconds, and 1 milliseconds equal to 1 subframe divided into 2 slots, 2 slots equal to 0 0.5 milliseconds each, and uh, 12 carriers, and 12 carriers, uh, one slot having the 12 carriers, and uh, one slot having 84 RE and 72 RE, depend upon your uh symbol 76 uh, normal cp or extended cp and second slides and the fdd tdd difference and fdd you are using for the one frequency for uplink uh, other frequency for the uh, other frequency for the downlink and tdd same frequency you are using uplink and downlink fdd bands band 3 you are using for fdd band 40 41 for the using for the <coughs> tdd okay and this is the this is the uh, what is the dwpts upps and uh, the <coughs> 
that is that is the descriptions of all these things and that is the frame of the frame uh, or the special soft frame of the TTD configurations if you want to increase or decrease your downlink downlink requirement downlink and uplink requirement of the user you can assign you can configure this this frame according to your uh, requirement okay and uh, this is this is related to the symbols uh, signals and the type type and TDD and FDD and uh, which signal is uh, situated in uh, which location of the soft frame and which time slot that is all the descriptions about the FDD and TDD frames so hope you like this video if you like uh, subscribe my channel um, if you have any query you can get back to me uh, with message and follow my own official LT page Thank you. Thanks for your time. Have a good day.